This video is brought to you by BetterHelp. There's so much more to photography than taking photos. So today, whilst we're on the hunt for some amazing images, I thought I would share several reasons why photography has changed my life and how it can improve yours too. So welcome back and thanks for joining me once again at another beautiful Scottish location. So we're elevated on the side of this mountain here above Loch Marie and I'm photographing these wonderful old Scots pines trees here. This is a very old growth part of the reserve here. Really beautiful, absolutely tranquil conditions. And today I wanted to talk about some of the benefits of landscape photography that don't often get talked about, but I think uh, probably more important than the photography itself. So we'll be touching on that in just a bit, but I'm gonna take this photograph first to get started with the video. So the first point I want to talk about is exercise. It's obviously something that we all need, isn't it? But sometimes, if you're like me, I just need like a reason to actually go and do it. Now, I'm not the sort of person who can go to the gym. I need to actually be doing something alongside that exercise part. Otherwise, I just lack the motivation. And that's why all of my hobbies involve exercise in some format or another. Now, for example, I love surfing, walking my dogs, and of course, landscape photography all of which they kind of provide me with some form of enjoyment while I'm actually doing the exercising part. And this motivates me to get out more often, which is obviously, you know, not only benefits my cardiovascular health, but also my mental health too, which of course is incredibly important. Yeah, I genuinely think landscape photography is one of the best ways of motivating yourself to get out there and enjoy the great outdoors while also getting that all important exercise that we all need. Now, as I've alluded to earlier, exercise can definitely help improve our well-being, but so too can photography, can't it? And I found that immersing myself in these beautiful environments has such a positive effect on how I feel about life. I also think searching for compositions has a meditative effect on me. You know, quite often when I'm out here searching for photographs, I'm thinking about nothing else apart from trying to find a subject or piece together the parts of the landscape to form a composition. And I think it's this tunnel vision, if you will, that really, you know, takes me away from the everyday stresses of life. And I think that's such a positive thing. As you know, this video is in paid partnership with BetterHelp, and I would just like to share something with you that I've never spoken about before. So back in 2007, we just had our first child, and he was two weeks old, and we had a fire at our house. It was absolutely dreadful. Essentially, the whole roof of the house caught fire. Foolishly, I opened the loft hatch to see what was going on, only to be met with this shower of hot burning tar, which went all over me. So the fire brigade came out and put the fire out, and I got patched up at the hospital. And apart from a few scars and having to get a new roof on the house, I thought all was good, but it really wasn't. In the year that followed that, I really struggled, to be honest. I couldn't sleep, I was anxious, and I suffered from depression. And it was a very, very difficult period. But what I didn't understand was why I was feeling the way I was at the time. Looking back now, it was, you know, a very traumatic experience. But at the time, I just couldn't see a reason for feel, feeling like I was. And, you know, I really struggled to talk about this with anyone, including my family. You know, I didn't really want to burden them with my problems, which is why I think therapy would have actually been a really beneficial thing for me. And this is where BetterHelp would have been super handy. So BetterHelp connects you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful unbiased advice. It really is simple to use. You just go to their site, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience and can help you with any of the struggles that you might be going through. The great thing is you can do it all from your phone or your computer, however you feel most comfortable. So let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. So why not take a look by following the link in the video description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Ian Worth 
to enjoy a special discount on your first month. During that difficult period, I bought my first proper camera. It was a Nikon entry-level DSLR, I forget the model number, but it was that purchase that got me out of that difficult period. I found myself immersed in a completely different way of seeing the world, and I was hooked. Photography became my passion. The anxiety receded, and I felt amazing. Planning photography trips, learning new techniques, it really did give me a much needed boost. And I'll always be grateful for having photography in my life. So I'm here with my landscape photography buddy Henry Turner and he just called me to tell me that he's found an absolutely cracking spot. So let's go and see if we can find him and maybe grab a few more images. This has to be one of the most picturesque walks I've ever done. All these little Scots pines scattered across the landscape with this amazing backdrop. Really tranquil, calm conditions. Just absolutely beautiful. As far as the photography is concerned though, it's been a little bit of a challenge so far. I've got really harsh light. So photographing the pines down there was quite challenging. That's why I'm going up a bit further. Hopefully we'll get a bit of diffusion, some cloud cover. Maybe things will improve photographically but yeah still really nice to capture a couple of shots down there let's see what this afternoon brings well I did get some cloud cover but probably too much I think Henry definitely got the best of the light here I will leave the link for Henry's video from this location in the video description it's definitely worth a watch because he captured some lovely shots from this elevated spot but in the meantime here's a few of mine So Henry and I have moved down from the mountain now, come down to this lower plateau near Loch Marie. Of course, Sleok in the background there, which looks absolutely amazing from this angle, real tall and grand. It looks absolutely fantastic. Just experimenting with a few different compositions now the light is really dropped. And I just want to talk about another massive benefit of photography, which I never considered when I first started, and that was just how many people that I would meet along the way. Now the photography community is absolutely amazing, and I found Complete strangers can bond really quickly when there's a photograph to be had. And I see this firsthand during my group photography tours. You know, we put four or five people together and by lunchtime we're all really good friends. And it's because we share, you know, a common interest. And I think that's a remarkable thing. When I think of some of the people that I've met over the years through photography, it's just absolutely incredible. And I wouldn't be here right now in Scotland with Henry if it wasn't for photography. So, yeah, the people that you meet along the way is just absolutely awesome. And by the way, if you're interested in joining me on a photography adventure, I do have a few places available on my three remaining photography tours that I've got for 2024. The link for that is down in the description if you fancy checking it out. But I think it's time to see if we can find a location for sunset. After looking around for a while, I was intrigued by this fallen pine. From one angle, it looked like the tree to the left was extending a hand or maybe reaching to help. It's an interesting thought, and I think it made a nice black and white photo. Mate, you getting anything good? Yeah, just trying to make it work, man. You know, with the obviously the weather conditions aren't great, and just experimenting really. I think it's another thing to do in these sorts of conditions is take the weight off your shoulders and just play around with your photography. I think it's so important. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. And yeah, if you look through here, just be taking a bit of a square crop framing. I think it's Benavillet, he's called in the background. Benavillet. Not a clue how to pronounce it. And, just framing him with the uh, with all the Scots pine branches and some long exposures and just playing around, mate. It's going good. 
I've been working this area for probably about 30 to 45 minutes trying to come up with the composition. I think me and Henry both decided that we're not going to get a colourful sunset tonight. There's so much cloud. So we decided to concentrate on this river here. And I found this little waterfall, which I think is delightful. Some beautiful water patterns that flow over it. The rocks themselves are full of texture and patterns and contours, which is really nice. How the, the water's kind of eroded the rock. It's really nice. Got a Scots pine on the left, the stand of pines right in the middle of the frame and one that encroaches over into the sky as well, which helps to fill that area of the sky because the sky is very, very overcast. It's very gray. It's very uniform. The odd maybe patch of texture here and there, but I think the overhanging branches just help fill that kind of dead, boring space. So that's what I'm going for. Now, I've played around with different lenses. I've got the wide angle lens on mainly because I want to capture as much of this scene horizontally as I possibly can. I think you could probably spend an hour or so here working on these different flows. But yeah, it's a really interesting little area, this. Sometimes when you don't get the light you're hoping for, you have to adapt and try and find something else that is going to work. And I think that's what I've tried to do here. And hopefully it comes across well in the photograph. I'm about a quarter of a second. As you can see, I've got the lens cloth over the front of the lens now because it is spitting with rain as well. So. Let's go ahead, take this one now. Just make sure the lens is nice and clean. Focus on these rocks here. Let's take this one. So it's been a super challenging day today. Chasing the light it was very harsh first thing and then we come down here and the light has been very very flat so using this reflective light off of the water i think worked well introducing some light into the scene in these very very overcast conditions i hope those photographs came across okay now it's been great to be out here with henry again today using his knowledge of the area which has been super cool like i say you know it's the first time i've visited this area so expectations are always lowered just a little bit when you visit a new location aren't they but i have thoroughly enjoyed myself today such a special location absolutely brilliant if you enjoy this video i'm sure you'll enjoy this one up here too and why not check out my photography tours which are linked up here in the top right hand corner and also down in the description anyway guys until next week take care and i'll see you soon